of, of uh, see how I'm just using the tip of my knife? Okay. Is to, one of the ways is to take and to just simply at an angle cut a V cut just like this and remove this just like here. Okay? But you see how it gives it that sad look? And you take and you put your eye in there. You see how it gives it the sad look? You see that? It gives him that sad look that he has. And and it just gives him that that sad, sad look. Okay? And just by cutting a V-cut. Now, a lot of people, like I said, a lot of people get really disturbed that I don't spend a lot of time on eyes. And one guy asked me, okay, not all my eyes are cut like this, okay? If I want that sad look, I give it that, that uh, sad look uh, to the eye, in other words. And let me show you another thing that you can do. You can take your V-tool and on each side of the face do a little of this, this number. See how it gives it character? And the same thing here. See how it gives it that, that sad character to it? And watch how the using the V-cut how the uh, lightly at the end, how now the, um, and I'm gonna go get a piece that I did, and that will show you how, when colored, how that looks over thing. So there is your face. Now I'm going to go wet this, and then I'm gonna get a piece of wood, and I'm gonna show you how on bigger pieces and other pieces, I'll make an eye, okay? Uh, a man said, well, I, I can't see how you do it. Maybe he doesn't understand um, how you can enlarge and see a lot of things. But you see, see the sad face? But you can even put it in a, put a happy face, and then I would do the eye more to the side than I would necessarily this way. So let me, let me go and uh, wet this so that you can see. And then I'm gonna take and show you how to do an eye. And then I'm gonna show you how uh, a piece that I did where I used that hair over the... All right, let's let's look at let's look at the face now, okay? And we've got the hair over the eyes. And of course you use the V-tool to go all the way around the hair. But the hair over the eyes gives it even a sadder look. Okay? And then the eye at an angle gives him a very sad look. Now here is an actual piece that is done. And as you see with the hair over the eyes, just like this, the character it gives him. 
Now, on this case, I didn't slant the eye. I just want to cross with it. So it, it, it doesn't give him as sad of a look, but it gives him more of a mysterious look, as we possibly say. But as you can see, when the hair goes over the, the eye like that, in other words, it gives him that vagrant look, that hobo look, or vagrant look that is, is, is so important to doing a piece like this, in other words, to make him look like he really is. Uh, this is this is this is a, uh, a thing between realism and caricature, in other words. And of course, I also used the, the beard, you know, the the, the the black for the beard and thing like that. But you see how the hair uh, looks the way it does, the way it, it goes over. And when he is painted, when this one is painted, it would be the same way. The hair, but his face basically is a lot wider. If you can see, his face is actually much wider than his face. Okay, which I can make it that way. I could cut off a lot of this, but I like that that wide face underneath there, and which gives it that look. Okay, all right. Now, one of the ways, another way that I make eyes on most figures is like this. Okay, I'm going to show you what I do on larger figures to make eyes. Basically, it's like a diamond, okay? Now let me show you. I'm gonna draw this as good as I can so that you can see it. Here, let me, let me start in the middle here. You take and you make you a diamond, okay? It's like a, a, a diamond, all right? And then you come underneath there and you make another diamond, okay? So let me show you here. I cut. And I cut. Okay? And then I come back and I take the little pieces off just like this. Okay? It's kind of hard on a flat surface, you know, when you... There you go. Now, I make another cut just like a diamond. And I cut this like this, and I do the same thing. I take the lower pieces out of there, okay? All right, now as you see, as you see, now most people make it an oval shape. I don't do that, I don't. I take, and I make me another, I just take the knife and I come up and down just like this to make an eyebrow and actually actually you can even make another diamond right here just just like that because most of my most of my then you come here and you just kind of take that off like that okay and then my eye fits right in there now a lot of people don't like to do that okay and and really when I do this it's not so much uh, uh, shaped a certain way but as you can see it gives it the little eyelid type thing and then I come up underneath here and I clear that away and I make it now it's usually like this it's usually similar to what I call this way, okay? And it's like a diamond shape. Let me come a little bit deeper here, okay? Like that. And then I come in an oval shape, just sort of like that. And I remove on each side that the birds are singing and And it turns in that the actual thing, the actual eye looks like a diamond, and then you just sort of cut away the, 
the things like that. Now, a lot of people like, you know, to go forward and, but once again, I like to take and just come here and make a little round like that. And then I shape the little Now, a lot of people have asked me, Gene, why don't you do the oval shape eyes? Because I don't think, when it comes to flat plane carving, I like to do, uh, I like the cuts to look like, um, um, like they're flat, in other words. They're not just, just this, this way, in other words. Now you can also, like I said, you can also just make a little diamond inside of there and there you've got them, see, on each side. That's, that's more of an oval is what I, I more do and, and, it, and it turns out to be a diamond shape in other words. And I work from there. That way this, this shows a little bit of the eyelid. Now it's not, on, on, on my pieces, it's not indented that far. If this actually, this upper thing, the uh, eyelid sticks out. It doesn't go in, it sticks out. Okay? Because I don't make that deep of cut necessarily. Now that might be, con be confusing to a lot of people, but that's the way that I do it. And uh, um, it, it works every time. And it gives it uh, now I still like this way. I still like just this, this simple V cut and put the eyelid, paint the eyelid in. A lot of people just hate that because, um, well, you're not doing the eye right. Well, not the way most people talk. But my figures don't look like most people's figures. And this is something that I have dealt with in, in doing, um, pieces most of my carving career is that my pieces don't look anywhere like most people's pieces uh, they just don't they don't look like because they're not meant for me to look that way um, they're just not I, it's it's a different way it's it's my way of doing things and I'm going to do what pleases me. <laughs> I, I, I may not go with the group. I may not win any ribbons. I may look like, but I, I, there's a lot of people that like my style. So um, that's just the way it is. I'm not interested in winning any ribbons. I'm interested in whittling and having a good time and when I get through with a character, I can look at my character and go, I like that. I like the way it's done. I know it's, 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 it's off the beaten path as far as, as the way it should look but uh, to most people. But I'm not trying to win any awards or anything like that. I'm just enjoying myself whittling. Okay? And that's why I, I tell a lot of people, start out with me if you want but most people don't just continue with just the way I, my style is and uh but i guess i'm doing something right because i cannot keep orders for enough hobos and vagrants i'll tell you i can't i can't keep it so um i must be doing something right for the person and a lot of people will order one of my pieces just so they can see how it looks or how it's done and uh, so I'm not bragging or anything like that I'm just telling you that uh, um, I think a lot of people like that style or they like the way it looks it's like the birds that I have done uh, you know um, I do them, a, you know, you do them a certain way, 
I like them whiter and stuff, but um, you know, I just, this is different. And most people that you see do not produce carvings that look like this. Most of them don't. Um, some people say, well, good, I'm glad I don't. <laughs> but that's just the way things are. And, and to me, carving is an enjoyment. It's something that I like to do. And, and if I have to fight it and try to think, well, am I going to do this or that, then, then I'm not going to enjoy it. So anyway, this is what I, this is the way that faces are done. And um, I, I've shown at other parts of how it's done, but you know, if you just want to do that, use the, the slanted V cut to make the eyes and give the sad look, or even, even that, give it that, that um, older look. So, all right, well, enough. Um, and here's here's an old boy like I said he's and all that so anyway we'll wait and see how things uh, go and I just want to take this time to spend a little time with you and uh, I've had numerous people continuously ask me and I have videos on doing faces and stuff but they asked me about the sad face of a vagrant or a hobo and that's that's how i do them that's that's the the cuts the cuts give the character of the face not so much the eyes the eyes are important but to me the cuts of the face how it is cut how it is shaped gives the character of the face okay god bless you now and have a good day.